Oh, by the way, last thing, Bill. Um, I don't think you're taking it seriously on building your personal brand. Hmm. Had to leave that to the end. All right. All right. Let yeah. It. Look, so one thing, one thing that every single person that we've talked about on this call and Bill, you're a very impressive guy. You're, you're way more. And I, I hope you don't take this offensively. You're way more a COO than a CEO. You're an operations integrator, like get shit done type of guy, which is extremely impressive. But I don't know why you haven't been taking your personal brand seriously, bro. Like you should be doing TikTok videos like crazy. You should be doing video production every single day. And I know it takes away from some of your ability to run your business, but it's, it's a seed that's worth planting. Every other person we've talked about has a personal brand. And mm -hmm. you need to start taking it seriously, bro. That 600 grand a year that you're spending in personal development spend a 10th of it on running ads and building a million followers across all platforms. All right, you can so do that in the next 12 to 24 months. Here's what I need to know from you right now. And I, I will fucking do it. What are the two to three key decisions that I need to make? Like hiring a full-time videographer to follow me around or hiring this or, do, and I will fucking do them. So okay. You tell, let me but, tell you, let me beware, tell you this. Beware what you tell me right now. I'm actually going to do. I'm no, I, I'm going to, I do this for lawyers all the time. All so right. the very, very first thing is, do you have a full-time videographer? I, I have two full-time video editors, but not one that, that follows me. You need a full-time videographer, not just to follow you around, but someone that can think the way that you think and knows when you're about to go on an exciting tangent on educating people like this is a person that you really have to resonate with. They have to be in Philly. You should expect to pay them between 50 and 80 K a year, okay. but they're a videographer. They should be great with audio, great with video, great with lighting. And ideally they should have their own equipment, but you can buy the equipment for them if they need it. Your yeah. video editors do not need to be in the U S bro. You hire VAs in other countries. Those are the people that support your videographers. You do not let American people do your video editing. It's a low level skill. Mm. Okay. The next thing is when you are in the office, when you are talking to people, when you are hosting your webinars, when you're doing anything related to educating people, you need to always be mic'd up and the camera needs to be following you around. The, you don't create content. You just document what you're doing. Yeah. And the great video editor will chop those up into 15, 20, 30 second videos and blast them on all social platforms. Okay. Right now, you don't need to focus on building a YouTube. I know you have a YouTube channel. I know you have all these other things. But right now, I would actually recommend creating a personal brand, a completely new page on TikTok. TikTok gives you a lot of new uh, attention when you build a page from day one. That's how our Spanish page grew to like 10,000 followers in the first week. We have a CEO Lawyer Academy page. The, you create a new TikTok page. TikTok will give you a lot. They'll put you on the For You page when you're a brand new content creator. Okay. TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels. Those are the only three. It's the vertical video war. That's all you need to do. And you don't need to sell them anything. You don't need them to... to Give them your email. You don't need anything. You just need to give people good, valuable information. Same with like Alex Harmozy, same with like Ryan Pineda, like all these guys. All they're doing is just short videos, mm -hmm. educating people in their short snippets. That's it. And what I would also say is since you already have an email list, um, don't run ads right away. But you can do a small drip campaign where you upload your email list to Facebook, Instagram, and have target those people to follow your page. Mm. Yeah. And that's it. I think you'll have you'll have 50K followers before the end of the year. And once it gets going, um, yeah, I think you'll be you'll be solid. But you have a good business brand. You just don't have a personal brand. I have 11K legit, though on Instagram. And That's they're solid. Real, they're real followers. They're not like, I didn't pay for anything. No, I know. I mean, that's great. But, but that's nothing. 
That's it's nothing. your business brand. It should be your personal brand. And the personal brand, that $600,000 that you're spending a year in personal development, when people see that you have a million, two million followers, they'll just invite you to those things for free. Yeah. Like it'll eventually get offset because they see that you have other value on a national level. You're already doing events with Gary V, dude. You're already doing events with A-Rod. You're not leveraging the shit out of it. Motherfucker, you're right. God damn it. Ugh, it's so painful. Hey, no one can be perfect at everything. Obviously, some of the things you taught me today have been extremely beneficial, and I can't wait to start implementing these things. And I know we're going to have a lot of fun and make a lot of money together. But God damn, Bill, why do you not have a personal brand? I've been telling Eddie Maloof the same thing. Like, damn, dude, like you guys are running like 10, 20 million dollar a year businesses. And you're just like, it's like pulling teeth to get you to actually do a video. But and that's all it is, is just sales. It's just to the public. So but so I have so I have I have six thousand I have six thousand two hundred uh, subscribers on YouTube. That's great. That's hard. I know. Um, 6,000. So 11. So then what's the target? Like what, what, what's the goal? What I need a goal. Uh, no, a hundred thousand TikTok followers by December 31st. Okay. TikTok. How much, which, what should be my goal on YouTube? You think, or is that not, it, it's not TikTok is what's, what's important right now through the end of the year. All right. So TikTok is my only target. I'm not going to have a goal around Instagram followers. I think, I think Instagram will happen naturally. Instagram is a lot harder to grow on and YouTube is hard, hard to grow on, but, but really I know, the other I know thing a lot is of Facebook big... reels. I think a Facebook public figure page, because you know, Facebook targeting is insane. And so Facebook reels, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, TikTok videos, all of those are vertical videos. Do not create the videos within a specific app, create vertical videos and edit them and then post them on those specific apps. Yeah. So create the vertical video like right on my phone, right? Or, or no, on professional cameras. Okay. And then what is the, do you have like a prescription for the repurpose stuff? Like how, how do I instruct this videographer to know what to do? Like, is so there first, SP? first thing is, first thing is I will, I will send you the, um, I will send you a, uh, our job posting that we use to find videographers. We just hired another one. So I'll send you the job posting that we post on Indeed because you need a good videographer. And then once you break it down, you're, once you get enough uh, candidates, they will send you an, you have to send them an edit test. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, they have to do well on the edit test. And there's like five specific things that we're looking for on a quality edit test with obviously with speed of turnaround. And then you have to do a personal interview with them to see if you like their personality. And I recommend them coming to you in person and recording with you that day, because that's how I, that's how I bring in my videographers. And that's why they stay because like, I find these guys that I really, really like. Mm. So there's a process for the, this is great because now I think about all the, the new webinar trainings that I'm going to have, because you're literally creating the content for me, but that's the three-step process. Indeed, get the resumes. Once you get the resumes, have a videographer or a video editor meet with them to see if they understand basic things like the ratios on Instagram, how long an Instagram reel could be, um, you know, what they can do to maximize TikTok followers, like using trending sounds, what are different strategies that they can do to, to get people into to a hook, right? You want to know that they actually understand social media. These people will not know ads, okay? You will never find someone that's willing to work for you that knows social media content and video creation that also knows how to run ads. Mm. Cause you know why they would have their own agency at that point. Mm. So don't look for someone that knows ads. That's your job. All you need is someone that can create videos, chop them up and post them online. So indeed job posting, collect resumes, have video editor meet with them. Number three, and the video editor on the call will give them an edit test. What it is, is a two to three minute raw video of you, okay, of you talking about any sort of topic that you're very passionate about. And they give that two to three minute raw unedited video to the video editor and say, I need you to turn it around to me in two hours. Mm. Live on the interview. 
and then they have to submit it. They upload it to either Google Drive, WeTransfer, whatever it is. Mm. Your video editors then review all of that content and they pick out the top five or six that they like and they share it with you. And you say, hey, and they, they show you, hey, here are the different things that these people did. And you're like, wow, I really like how this person made my video look. The VA. You meet with that. No, the editor, that one of your editors can do it because you don't have VAs right now. We actually use our content creators for these interviews. Got it. And then once you like the three or four people, like how they edited the videos, then you call them to come to your office to spend two or three hours with you to actually follow you around and see how confident they are in directing you. You don't want to be the one that's doing all the work all the time. You want someone to say, hey, Bill, what do you think about this? Mm. And they create, they are the content creator for you. And the person that you like working with the most in person, that's you give them a job offer on the spot. Mm. Damn. That's yep. the five-step process right there, baby. Wait, 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 wait. So uh, let me do this. Can I take what you just did and post this on our YouTube channel? That Let's go. Yeah, bro. Yeah, this is good. All right. All right. Good. All right.